Welcome to a new video lesson. In this lesson I will cover a topic that says how to be successful forex trader when so many fail. Here on the left side I have an article written here on the Get No Trading website and on the right side I have a gold against US dollar one minute time frame which opens several trades on a demo account just to show you when I'm trading examples. Here on inside the article you can see what are the topics I will cover today in this lesson just to explain how to be successful when so many traders fail. You will see what are the common reasons why the traders fail and this is, uh, the, these are the reasons that were also causing me being failed trader and uh, I will explain what are the steps and what is the idea, what is the goal I have devoted, devoted my time to become a successful one. Let's define here what will be the topics. First of all, define the success. What is the expectation inside the trading? I will explain a little bit more details. Have a trading strategy and trading plan is very important. A risk management, one of the most important things. Your emotions, fear and greed, expectations also. Patient, very important. How to be a disciplined, very important and over trading one of the causes also why you are losing a lot a lots of money. Have a trading mentor is some of the ways how you can solve the, uh, some of these issues. So I will get into more details by following one of these one of these topics. Now define success for X trader. First of all you need to define what is a success for you. For example, is it trading on the Forex and having $100 per day of profit or having per month for example $500 of profit. This is something that you need to define at the start because this will also determine how much money you will need to invest based on your trading strategy and also the expectations you have. If you have $10,000 as a trading um, account balance and you start trading per day, well, for example, with each trade set stop loss to 1%, which will be $100, that means you will make, for example, two or three hundred dollars per trade. So you will lose $100 per trade if the trade is bad, or you will earn around $300 if the trade is profitable. So these are some kind of the expectations and it will allow you to define what will be the loss of profit. And why is that? If you have $10,000 as a starting capital, if you set your stop loss to 1%, this will mean it will be $100. If you set your take profit to 3%, uh, percent, it will be $300. Now, is this expected for you that you will be satisfied? This is something that you need to define at the start because having correct expectations is the way to go. Why? For example, if you invest $1,000 and you are expecting that you will make per each trade $200, which will, it, which will be 20% possible, but in the long run, really possible. But also a stop loss. What will be the stop loss per trade on $1,000? Will it be $100, which will be 10%, or it will be 1%, which will be $10? If you put $10, there is a high probability that you will lose uh, your uh, trade very quickly because your stop loss will be too narrow. There will be no space for the trade to move around, and especially if you are targeting $100 of profit, which will be 10% uh, 10 10 of profit. On that trade, it will be not possible to trade that in the long run to have $10 in loss or $100 in profit. You will not have enough space and that means when you open the trade, for example like this one here, you will, you will not have enough space with your stop loss because it will be for example like this one, it will be too narrow. And what that means, just a minute, I will close these two trades. For example, I have this open trade right here. You can see the price is very close to my stop loss and it will cl close with a loss because I do not have enough space. You need to allow for, you need to give a price a space to jump around because you can see the price is moving up and down, up and down and eventually go in my direction. That is the goal. So the having narrow this stop loss will wipe your trades very quickly and your account balance will reduce very quickly. So having correct expectations, this is the way how to go at the start. Having $10,000 with 1% of loss, it will be acceptable because $100 on $10,000 account balance will be 1% and if you lose 2, 3, 5 trades, that will be $500 against $10,000 account. These are 
the expectations and also have the proper expectations in profit how much money you would like you would like to earn per month if you have ten thousand dollars account balance having for example 10 or even 20 percent of profit during the month is possible it's doable and it is okay i think two thousand dollars per month is also okay as a profit and you can increase your account balance which will increase also in the long run uh your profit because you will uh, have starting capital 12 twelve thousand dollars instead of ten thousand then having a trading strategy and trading plan is very important you need to know when to enter the market for example how do i know when to enter into this market should i open right now another buy order just because of this trade has gone in profit oh that's right let's open this one oh great i'm in profit with the first one but i am in loss with the second one oh. I am waiting for the second one to go into profit and I hope that this trade will go in profit. Hope is not what we are looking here. We are looking at a proper strategy that will tell you when to open the trade, where to put stop loss, where is the take profit. This is the way how to go. And if you go, for example, on the one hour time frame, like in this example where I have this one, I am currently, for example, watching this one. This is a bullish pin bar that tells me that the price will move in up and this one has moved just up and now i can see that the price has gone above these open and close which means a smaller resistance has been broken and i'm expecting that the price will go up this uh, this line the red line represents a resistance and this area around this resistance defines a supply area where the sellers are waiting so it will be very smart to move out of this trade just right here at the start of this supply zone because this is the way this is where most of the traders and where it the most of these prices will come and there is high probability that the price could bounce from this area back down so i would like to exit from this trade much earlier than waiting for the price to go up here or up here this is the way how you can trade and this is the trading strategy i have so i'm not simply blindly open open trade and without a take profit for example setting here or here i have a proper strategy that tells me these are the rules you need to follow this is the trading plan which you should have and this is the way how to be successful and not be a trader who most of the time fails now having a proper strategy in the long run it will allow you to have a statistic is it your strategy certain rules are profitable or not are there any mistakes that that are appearing most of the time maybe there is a pattern that you need to move remove from your trading strategy when it appears on the chart if it appears skip it so you will reduce the number of bad trades this is the trading plan this is the trading strategy that will allow you to be successful and not to fail then you have risk management plan and that is something i have explained uh, uh, a little bit before and that means you need to put your stop loss and the take profit levels whenever you open the trade now you have seen i have put a stop loss and take profit the take profit has been here set and the stop loss is just below this open price why i have put here a stop loss because it is below these uh lower price levels we can see that the price could not go uh, below that if the price if the price goes below this one this will mean that this trading strategy has failed because the price could not go in up in the future but it has gone down so it is expected the price will go down this is the proper risk management you need to find how much money you will lose per each trade and how much money you will make per trade so this is the way how you can make the statistics later on to see is it profitable or not in the long run then you have a control your emotions to become successful forex trader this is something i have shown you right now when i have opened a second trade i have opened a second trade just based on the feeling how the market looks i have seen the market has gone up so i will open a new trade because i feel i think and i feel the market will go up sometimes it will work but most of the time it will not work and you will lose the money so moving out your emotions is the way to go you need to proper you need to have proper stretch that tells you what are the certain rules when to enter market when to exit the market this is the strategy that will tell you that then also your emotions for example like greed if you are making money just opening more trades it's not the way good way to go no 
having your trading strategy and if it tells you to have only one trade open there should be only one trade open no more this is the emotions moving out of your trading decisions now having a fear for example this one oh bad bad this the price is going down my profit is melting now this is the fear coming in the market because i do not want to lose this money no i will close this one oh that's right i have currently earned 70 dollars that's right but let's say what happens in the future will the price goes down so this will be a very good decision or will the price go up and then it will be a bad decision because i could be in more profit this will depend what will happen in the future but this is the fear when it enters into market this is the way now there is also fear of opening a new trade now i have closed this trade so should i open a new trade with sell which means i am expecting that the price will go down or i should open a buy by the mark well i am currently in fear because first my decision was the price will go up but the price is going down so i do not know will the price go down if i open the sell by market now i fear that the price will not go even more down it will stop and it will reverse back up this is the fear that tells you now you can understand what happens it happens because i do not have a proper strategy plan there are no certain rules i should follow i, did, I didn't follow i simply have opened a sell order which is very bad it is the best to avoid having fear and greed in trading and what happens then you can see now i'm still in loss there is a possibility that the price will go up in my favor just as it was the order i have just uh, closed before that with 70 dollars in profit greed is when this trade is in profit and i open more trades i open more trades open more trades adding more trades and i am expecting that the price will go into uh, in my favor and if if it goes i will earn a lot of money and if the price goes against me i will lose everything from my account balance so the fear and greed are the emotions that should be left out from trading and there are only certain rules that you follow that will tell you when to open the trade and when to exit from those trades then you have you need to be a patient trader disciplined trader and the patient a patient that means if i open the trade a buy order that i have just closed leave it and you have your stop loss and take profit levels set right if you have that be patient move out from your uh, from your pc or mobile phone leave that trade open because you have opened the trade based your on your trading strategy if you uh, change something meanwhile that means you have cancelled your trading rules your trading strategy and later on if the trade is profitable or uh, has closed with the loss you will not be able to fall to make this this is because you have not followed your trading strategy because you have broken your certain rules just simply by uh uh changing the trade conditions that means being disciplined do not change the trade you have open if it is not in line with your trading strategy you can move your stop loss if you are in profit that's okay just to be even if the price goes in your favor but simply changing because the market has moved down or up for some reason and you need to allow the price to go up and down because this is the, what the price is doing most of the time you can see that you need to be disciplined to leave the price moving so staring in the pc screen or mobile phone will probably test your discipline and your patience so if you are enough patient you can watch the trading the trade open on your pc but if you are not there is also a possibility to leave your pc and do something else until the market moves in any of the directions then avoid over trading and over trading is something to open too many trades and this is something what i have just done you can see that i'm currently in loss if i have left the first trade open i would for for example probably be in a profit even more there's a probability that the price will go up and over trading is when i open another trade for example buy by the market now i'm moving in profit then if the price goes against me i open another order and doing that all the time it is over trading and also if there is a trade that is not in line with your trading rules is over trading do not open the trade if there is no rules that are followed by trading strategy and trading plan do not do that and then having a trading mentor to become a successful forex trader well the forex mentor can help you to speed up the process of the learning it can help you to avoid some kind of mistakes that the most of the traders are doing when they are learning how to trade this is where the mentor can help you a lot and it can speed up the process 
very quickly. So having trading mentor that will teach you a certain strategy with the certain rules is also very helpful. So if you have any trading mentor that can help you, use his help, but have in mind to think on your way. Think your, with your head. Do not allow to completely be overtaken by th that mentor and his mentality and his trading rules and uh, trading results. When you learn everything from him, start on your own, start trading to see how this works. Tra test your strategy that you have learned with your mentor and see the, is it profitable. If it is, follow your trading strategy, improve it in time by uh, reducing the mistakes you are doing and find the best results. This is the way how to be successful and also how to not fail in trading. Now you can see what happens. I have two trades with loss. I will close off them because I have finished with this lesson. So remember, having your trading plan, being successful is not very easy, especially in trading, because there are emotions that are sometimes um, much stronger than our logic thinking. And those are the fear and greed that will allow you that will increase the overtrading, oversizing, too many trades, not following your trading rules, trading strategy, not having proper risk management, stop loss, take profit. Those everything can happen if you allow the uh, fear and greed step in. Then being patient and being disciplined is the way to go. It will be in the long run. So remember, you cannot be profitable in very quickly. Some of the traders can, but some most of the traders cannot because it takes time to learn and to devote time and devote time and make a proper strategy that will be profitable in the future. Having a mentor will speed up the process of learning. So if you have a chance, use that trading mentor, but eventually learn everything on your own in the future and test your own certain rules, trading rules that will be easy to follow. When you make on your own something, it is much better acceptable to you than following uh, someone else's strategy because there is also something that uh, pushes you away if you have not built that on your own. If you build it on your own, most of the time it will give you a satisfaction to follow that and to improve that in the future. I hope this has shed some, shed some light on how to be successful for a trader and not to fail as many traders fail. Do not look for the holy grace strategy because there is none. I have a waste of time searching for a certain uh, something like that, but find a strategy that will in the long run be profitable and it will have a great results. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I will try to answer as soon as possible. If you like this video, click the like button and subscribe. Share with other traders if you think this is useful and see you next time and happy trading.